NASA has announced that the ice in the South Pole will irreversibly melt in about one or two hundred years, and the oceans will rise one meter. However, we will not have to wait that much to see the consequences. Mega Typhoon High in Winds in the Philippines was so strong that a new category was needed to measure its intensity. And in California a three-year-old drought is endangering more than half of the total U.S. vegetable and fruits crops, and there are no signs that it will be over in the near future. There is not doubt that the oceans are getting warmer and we are facing a global climate change that will cost billions of dollars to all economists and countries in the world and we will have to start doing things differently. Aquaponics is today the most important cutting-edge and efficient agriculture production technology that can cope with the upcoming needs of food supply in a changing climate environment, deficient in natural resources such as water. It is the world's most productive food system in terms of water use efficiency that combines conventional aquaculture with hydroponics in a symbiotic environment and has evolved into an organic green operation that is challenging production levels of most efficient hydroponic systems with overwhelming highs and extraordinary economic feasibility. In a basic aquaponic system, effluents from the fish rearing tanks flow through the hydroponic channels, where dissolved nutrients are taken up by plants, and ammonia and nitrates are removed by nitrifying bacteria growing on the sides of these channels, the underside of the polystyrene sheets, and on the plant's roots. Water is then collected in a reservoir and returned to the rearing tanks creating a close and perpetual recirculation system. The Aquaponius de Venezuela Foundation is an international projected institution for the research, development and construction of next-generation vertical aquaponics farms with cutting-edge green ecological technology and sustainable criteria. Years of research led to the development of a new structural concept that allows exceptional increase in productivity while keeping the original operational principle of the aquaponics system. This new initiative was possible by applying the concept of vertical farms conceived by Dixon Dispenayer from Columbia University, which proposed a multi-levels higher productive setup in the space. It is a concept widely applied in hydroponics and now, the Aquaponius de Venezuela Foundation is introducing the biggest most productive and first vertical aquaponics farm in the world. The key element for biofiltering nitrification are the deep channels that allow sufficient space for plant roots to grow and create optimum conditions for nitrifying bacteria to promote the oxidation process that remove ammonia. Smaller profile fiberglass channels are the new structural element that sets aquaponics into a vertical high productive system with sufficient depths for plants roots to grow and adequate medium for nitrifying bacteria to flourish. And when these channels are stocked vertically on special racks that forms multi-level galleries under a translucent dome, and the fish tanks are placed inside the ground floor under partial shadows, we get a vertical aquaponics farm, where surface area production can increase by the number of tanks, racks channels levels, and floors in the structure. The 
solar equa pyramid production unit has been designed using galvanized structural profile sections that can be bolted together on site and a translucent dome made up by polycarbonate panels that can resist hurricane winds forces in the impact of flying debris. These units are so simple and fast to build, that allows an initial, flexible and economically efficient pilot project, that by reinvesting a percent of the yearly net profits can expand in few years to a fully production complex featured with state-of-the-art systems. To achieve a significant increase in the economic yield of the vertical aquaponics system, valued added food production plants must be incorporated to the farm. A close control environment like stock production unit is also added for dairy goats, cows, lambs or Japanese cattle's rear, as well as a milking system and a cheese processing plant and a pasture to feed these animals, grows in a green forage production system with open trays channels that uses water coming from the aquaponics fish rearing tanks. If we consider that deforestation and rumiance excretions accounts for 17% of greenhouse gases released into the atmosphere, it is important to consider that the combination of these previous two systems eliminates the need for deforestation and handle ruminants excretions before greenhouse gases are released. It is a production operation that stops and reverses global climate change, and promotes reforestation with productive fruits trees that increases the natural production of oxygen for the planet. of biodigesters is mandatory in any industry for sewer water treatment. However in a specific case, its importance lays on its capacity to produce biogas, that one used in biogas power generating systems, combined with state-of-the-art compressor engines for power generating units, all the electric energy needed to run the entirely food production complex is obtained from green, endless resources and there are no need for the expensive electric local network. Integrating an artificial wetland is an aesthetic feature of ecological value and extraordinary beauty. However it is in fact an important secondary treatment stage to turn the clean water coming from the biodigester into drinking water. It is the concept of cradle and the cradle been applied in this and every operation of this aquaponic complex where nothing is wasted and everything is used. a process called pyrolysis. Biocarbon is obtained from the biodigester sludge, but the implication of the continuous use of this element in agriculture reduces global net emissions of carbon dioxide, methane and nitrous dioxide by 12% every year. 
with positive effects on crops, then farmed in poor nutrient soils. Water collection and storage system that avoids stagnation and reduces evaporation has been designed for farms away from the water source or when local demand is greater than natural supply. Modern technology is developing extraordinary food production systems, and the Aquapunas the Venezuela Foundation is actively participating in this evolution, with new concepts and designs that require no significant investments for its initial development, and pose extraordinary profits with highly competitive sales prices in international markets. We have integrated in our designs new cutting-edge technology so efficient and eco-friendly that can evolve as fuel and core for a new highly efficient and self-sustainable green working communities in which man and environment are of great importance and consideration. We are committed to research and develop new eco-friendly initiatives that uses unlimited natural and renewable resources for its application in production operations, manufacturing processes and transportation. We are also developing new recycling systems that transform toxic waste into new useful eco-friendly byproducts, with the potential for achieving improved water quality, while creating valuable wildlife habitat, flood protection, shoreline erosion control and opportunities for recreation and aesthetic appreciation. Equipment as the Venezuela Foundation, we are certain that these initiatives will lead to the configuration of new modern, highly efficient green societies and economies, creating ecological conscience where man and modern life can coexist in harmony with the environment to protect the planet and build a better world for future generations. <laughs>